Hey everybody, it's the Costume Jeweler. Hope y'all are having a good evening. I've never been into the Sunshine Thrift this late, but we're gonna go check it out, see if there's anything different in the evenings versus the day. We don't usually get here at early morning. We're looking for purses and jewelry and whatnots, doodads, and knickknacks to pick up for resale on YouTube and eBay, so hit that notification bell. Click all so you don't miss out on live buy nows and auctions of purses and jewelry on my channel. Subscribe to the channel if you already have. Thank you so much. And hit a thumbs up for this video. Let's go in here and see if we can pack anything up. I'm looking for lots of whatnotty stuff too. I'm so excited about it. So yeah, I don't usually thrift this late in the evening. That's beautiful. I don't know if that's old or not. It's a music box. Hmm. And I guess they're keeping their fancy wallets over here. So we're going to have to check those out also. We may do that right now. Well, you know what? Since they're in the case, we're going to go look at everything that's hanging up on the walls first. Because you don't want to mess out on stuff like that. So as you can see, this is a very big store. I already found a painting. I don't know if it's old or not, but we're going to check it out. And not this bigger one. That's not the one I'm talking about, but it's also nice. There's the signature on it. But this one right here. I don't know. For some reason, I really like that. So I guess that's the artist there on the back. Never heard that name before. And I'm not sure I would either because... I'm trying to think what creatively we could do with this picture. I mean, it's very nice. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and get that. Maybe have Laura, who did my makeup for Halloween, paint some some scenes in here somehow. Maybe some people and things like that. Or maybe not, I'm gonna think on that. So what I was talking about on that painting was where people take and they take an existing painting and then they paint scenes into it, which I think is kind of a good idea. Okay, this purse here, I've never seen anything like this. Just the shape and then the zipper. Is it leather, patent leather maybe? I don't think so. Here's the brand. We're going to look at the knickknacks here too. This looks like it might be. I would like to say this is B. Mikowski, but I'm not sure if it is or not. And it's not. It's a brand called Queen Collection. I know nothing about that brand either. That's a new name to me. If y'all know anything about that brand, comment below. Help, help me out, help me out. So it's different that they're keeping their wallets behind. Not... They may still be some behind the jewelry counter. We're going to see in a few minutes. But they're definitely easily missed where they have them right now. Because I know, just like most resellers, they're probably expecting them to be behind the jewelry counter. BOC. Dig, dig, dig. Let's see if this wallet's anything fancy has a branding on it. It's genuine leather is all it says. Still got some life on it. So we kind of, we don't pull every purse out and look at it. We kind of eyeball it. We eyeball it. Let's see if it's something if we want to look at or not. If it is, then we grab it. We 
we snatch it. Now, what is this one? Oh my gosh, you got to be kidding me. And this why this right here, guys, is why. This is why I continue to thrift. This is why I look at this. You ready for this one? This is why. Another reason why I can't stop looking. Look at this. You know what it is already. You know what it is already. Look at that. That will make you addicted to thrifting. So hi, my name's the Costume Jeweler, and I'm addicted to thrifting. A Brahmin. Let's see what the inside looks like. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. You've got to be kidding. And it's great condition, just like most Brahmins. Most designer purses, people really take great care of them. Oh my gosh. Look. Look. Wow to the wow. Wow, wow, well, wow, well, wow. Well. I love it so much. Look at this. Hmm. Hmm. One of my favorite brands of purses to find, especially when they're vintage. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Look how beautiful that bag is. Where's that going? Where's that going? If you're new to the channel, we say that's going home with CJ. So let's see this beautiful bag. Look at that. So fall. So fall. So excited. Great condition. One little thing right there, but it does not matter. That is going home with me. I'm going to give this a little bit more camera time because this is too pretty. Wow. And then this look right there, this has different hardware on it. I don't know anything about it. Except for it's got some tears right here. So this looked expensive to me because this hardware, and I don't think it is. And so that purse was easily, wasn't easily spotted, but the croc print always is something that I like to find that just happened to be a Brahmin. So I will take it. Cabin Creek. What's this? Liz Claiborne. And this looks old. This is a great old bag. So I'm gonna zoom in on the hardware for you. Look at this. So this looks like it'd be old to me. So I think this is another great score and I'm going to get it. So it is old bag. We're going to zoom in and you can see the designer mark on it. Not sure about this brand. A, I guess it's A-I-N-A USA. So know nothing about it either. I like the way it looks. It's probably leather. Not sure. But it's really great condition, so we're going to get that also. So we've got the Brahmin so far, and we've got that beautiful bag also. So I would consider those two great finds. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? Antonio Milani, this looks old. Meaning old in a good way. Ready to 
so two great bags on the wall Tijanello Tianello Tinganello Tinianello So we're gonna head up to the jewelry and purses at the counter now and see if we can find anything So we looked through all of these and I think we got Some great ones or two great ones it's gonna look again not through everything but just a little bit carefully what is this baby here that's a little bit different look at this that looks like leather yeah the gold stain gold chain and leather stitching so this is not leather I looked at the inside tag it's called BAM forever so I don't know it's a cute bag but I'm not sure that I'm gonna get it but it's called BAM B-A-M forever and I'm probably gonna regret I'm sure not getting it but we're gonna pass on that one still a cute bag I just don't want to be keeping it if it doesn't sell cuz Lord knows I don't know what I would do with them so now we're gonna head over to the jewelry and the purses that are hanging up behind the wall and see if we can find anything So there's like a red stone. An older only. Tomorrow's our military discount. Tomorrow's what? Military discount. Oh, okay. Other than that, it just seems tags. I'll take this one. Been here a while. It's really pretty. Yeah, I haven't been in here in a couple weeks. They usually come in pretty often. So this is from 19, a pewter poodle keychain. 1982. So I'll take this one too. I like it. The bead, red, white, and blue bead. I'll take a look at that red, white, and blue bead necklace at the back, please. I'll take this one too. Um, I wonder what that necklace is. Are there stone? Are these glass? Do you know on the blue? Um, I think even from B, even with the gloves, they, I think they're just plastic. Oh, they are okay. And what about the spider brooch there at the back? I'm gonna buy this just because I'm sad. Halloween's over. Yeah. Hopefully, you can get some really cheap candy and Christmas um, Halloween decorations that Probably. you can use for Christmas. Yeah, but they're all having all kinds of sales. This reminds me of something me and my mom used to do. Every time Halloween was over, we would always go to Spirit Halloween and just check. Do they have sales there? Yeah, like post Christmas. They like to get a last minute. Oh, yeah. I wonder. Once Halloween is over, that's all the money they can make. Oh, okay. Because these just pop up in like abandoned Toys R Us. So yeah. They're not like year round. I like this mirror necklace right here. So I'll take a look at this mirror necklace. So this is a Betsy Johnson piece. Probably a vintage piece, and it's a two piece necklace. So you got part sterling, oh, not sterling, but silver tone. And then you have this piece here, and it's signed Betsy Johnson. So I'll show you that. But you have that, so it's a two layer necklace. I think it's Betsy Johnson. Let's see. It is. So you have two layers right there. You have the first strand and then the second. I'll take that one too. I'm missing something. This ring's different. Kind of like that ring. 
Kind of looks like a cupcake or something. I don't know what this is. So here's a very fall bracelet, beaded. Reminds me of fall. It's really nice. Copper. I like that fall bracelet. So they have three cases of jewelry here and then they have some sterling silver. I'm liking this necklace right here at the back. Also, we're gonna take a look at it. Definitely getting the telephone and the sewing machine necklace. Those are too cool and unique to pass up. So we are gonna pack those up, oh my gosh. So this is gold tone, no fading on this gold. And we are gonna get that one right there. That's beautiful. That would be pretty funny. So we have this old telephone pendant, what would? You see like stuff like this? What uh -huh. if you made um, a necklace out of salt crystals or something? You could, and that'd be a great it, idea. When it rained. But yeah, I don't know if these are old or not, but they're just, they're cool pieces. So I'm gonna get that one too, sewing machine necklace. Let's see what else we've got in here. I'll take a look at this gold pendant necklace, please. And then there's a pink one right there in this. Yep, that's it. I think this might be liquid silver. Not sure. These. It's a different kind of coach bracelet here and these actually turn also so we're gonna get that so we saw this before but it was at the other store in Tampa and I think we're gonna go ahead and pack it up so sterling lapis and going home with CJ so malachite spinner ring reversible so you have the moon and stars on the back so since I like moon and stars I'm gonna get that one A really great money clip. Like I said, it's a lizard on it, maybe a person. So earrings and pendant. Check out the purses. A red Lucky Brand. So this is a Kohan snakeskin bag. Good interior, looks like new. And this one is Sharif. That's a beautiful bag right there. Brand new crossbody. So guess what? We're getting it, oh my gosh. It's brand new, still have the tags on it. It has a dust bag in it too, so look at that interior. I love this part of it, so we're gonna get that one. Wicker fossil, wooden hang tag. Like new, and yes, we are getting it. That's a great fossil bag. Some black Michael Kors. A little bit of issues with the leather, but it's still a beautiful bag, but we're gonna pass on that one. Another fossil bag. Wow. Love this one. Great condition. So we found some good purses in here and I didn't even look deep in here either. But we found some good ones. There might be one more I'm gonna check out and then I'm gonna run to the back and try to look at the what naughty stuff. Here's their sterling jewelry. We did get some of those pieces. We did get some of this. And this is a Brighton bag, and we're going to get this one, too. I don't know what brand this bag is right here, but it kind of, with that turn lock, I'm going to take a look at it. I'm not sure at all. Did not pull all these out, just eyeballed them from the front. So this is a pretty bag by Sack. Yes, I have the... Look how beautiful oh, this is. Really pretty, but we're gonna pass on it. 
Here's your Christmas costume. Come out on Christmas morning with that on. That'd be fun, me. I might even buy that one and do it. I mean, you know, why not? Why not? That'd be hilarious. That would be hilarious. I think I might think about it before I leave here. I think so. We're looking for what not to do dad's trinkets. Purses, jewelry, anything that's nice that you can resell for a profit on YouTube. So if you're new to the channel, that's what I do. I resell on YouTube and eBay. More on YouTube. Live by it now. So make sure you hit that notification bell and click all. So you don't miss out on purses and jewelry that I resell. Isn't he a cutie patootie? What is this one? August Angel. Now that is super cute. Sadly, it has a broken wing, but that was, is super cute. Looking to see if there's any knickknacks. So the whatnots and things are kind of scarce. So I think we're going to go check out. But my favorite find here, I found lots of purses today, but I love this Brahmin. So I love everything I got. I love this old, probably 1950s purse also. And then you saw the other purses that I picked up. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, like and share. Hit that notification bell and click all so you don't miss out on live buy now of purses and jewelry. Give a thumbs up for this video. And I think I'm doing it. I'm going to buy this and wear it at Christmas. It's a large... And you know, for the giggles that you're going to get at Christmas morning when you wake up. That's perfect. So that is hilarious. It's awful baggy though, but what do you think? Should I or should I not? I'm doing it. Until next video, thank y'all for subscribing, supporting my channel, watching my videos, coming to live sales, and things like that. And this is going to be my costume for Christmas. We'll see y'all later. Bye.